Hello everyone, I'm Paul. Welcome to RC Foam Fighters. Uh, basically this is going to be a video for a brand new project I'm getting ready to start. Um, a lot of you guys have been watching our channel and you've seen I've been doing some uh, new projects with the uh, Grayson Hobbies uh, Monster Jet Motor. And it seems to be a really good motor for the uh, planes I've been using. And uh, I've been talking with the guys from Grayson Hobbies and they wanted to see what type of plane we could come up with that would be uh, built out of EPP foam. So basically I got a couple sheets of foam from uh, Grayson Hobbies. Um, it's the 1.9 density 15 millimeter foam. That's usually what I like to use, uh, 15 millimeter or thicker. Um, if you usually go thinner uh, with EPP foam, you don't really want to use like 6 millimeter EPP. It's uh, not really the same as working with Depron. You got to kind of use the thick, thicker foam um, for it to be uh, really useful um, with the strength of EPP foam. So um, let's get started. I'll show you the kind of the uh, basic design I'm going to be building and uh, see what you guys think. All right, everyone, here's the simple design I decided to go with. Um, if you guys have been watching our channel for quite a while, this plane's basically um, based off of the B3B that I built probably a little over a year ago. It was an EDF foam board plane, um, but basically this is pretty much the same kind of design. I changed it up a little bit. Um, it is going to be uh, having a pusher motor, the uh, Grayson Hobby Monster Jet, with a prop instead of an EDF this time. Um, the whole main wing piece is going to be 15 millimeter foam and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two uh, other pieces of 15 millimeter foam, one on the top and one on the bottom create kind of like a sandwich of the uh, fuselage onto the main wing that will make it nice and strong and I probably will be putting one carbon fiber um, shaft across the main wing to make it even more rigid then um, on this one I'm probably not going to be doing the uh, typical bulletproofing that me and Frank do with the um, Henry style weave and uh, the adhesive I probably just use some thicker strapping tape on the leading edges and around the edges of the plane to make it stronger. Then after that, I think I'm going to use some uh, Ultra Coat this time and uh, make the plane really look nice. So anyway, let's get started. Um, I've got you know the uh, basic plan set up and printed out, so I just got to cut them out, put them together. Then I'll start cutting out pieces out of foam. All right, guys. First step, basically, I'm just going to be cutting the plans. Um, I usually cut the uh, right side and the bottom off, and then I'm going to put them together. So pretty much it looks like the full plan here. Alright everybody, I got the plan all taped together. So I'm getting ready, I'm going to trim it. Um, basically this light line here I've got, that's the size of the EPP sheet I have. So I'm going to trim it down so it'll fit on top of that. And then I'm just going to tape it onto the EPP foam. Alright guys, I took a piece of the EPP foam and I uh, just taped on the plan on, right on top of it. I just used some blue painters tape. Um, so don't stick super hard to the foam. Uh, basically I'm going to be taking that and now I'm just going to be using a straight edge and I'm going to use a uh, cutting knife. Usually make sure you always get a brand new blade. You want it nice and sharp so you get a nice clean cut right through the foam. So I'm just going to start cutting out the pieces. After I get them cut out, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright everyone, I now have the major parts cut out of the EPP foam. Now as you can see they're uh, just pretty blunt on the edges so what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to be taking a sharpie marker and I'm going to go around on the parts and I'm going to draw on where I'm going to put the bevel cuts um, with the sharpie and a straight edge. So let me get those drawn on and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright everybody, I've taken the sharpie marker and I marked some bevel lines basically around the edges of the uh, main wing here. On the front side I usually do it about an inch back so I just take the straight edge ruler back right there and I just lay it along the edge and then I just draw a guideline along the wing edge. On the back of the wing, I usually do a, a longer, shallower bevel. Um, that one I just offset with about two inches, so I just take this one and use that as my guide, and I just draw a line for the uh, back side of the main wing. So what I'm going to be doing now to cut the bevels, um, I'm going to be using a hot wire cutter. This is just a battery-operated one. Uh, they're really handy to have because there's no cords or nothing to get tied up on. So I'm just going to do that to use um, for a rough cut along the edge. I'll probably lay a straight edge like one of these across the top here and then I just kinda lay it on there and I slice off a rough cut um, then usually I'll come back with either the rasp here or sanding block and then kinda contour and shape it so it's nice and smooth and uh, consistent and symmetrical on uh, both sides of the airfoil and this is gonna be a symmetrical airfoil so I'm gonna be doing a bevel cut on the top and the bottom of the main wing so it kinda helped me um, as a guide also I drew a guideline down the middle on the uh, edge here so I know where the middle is when I start cutting off the uh, 
bevel pieces. So let me get that started, and then I'll kind of show you what it looks like after I get it cut off and then uh, sanded and shaped. All right, guys, I got most of the bevel cuts done. Um, real quick, I just want to show you. Um, usually, I use the handheld hot wire cutter, like I said, on the edge. I put a, a straight edge on top, a nice aluminum straight edge. Then you just kind of line it up with the uh, guideline here on the front edge and also on the top edge at an angle. And basically, you just run it down all the way underneath the foam until you get all the way across. And then um, once you get it cut, it'll just pull right off. And then you got a nice uh, rough bevel cut on the edge of the wing. So now that I got all the uh, bevel cuts around the whole edge of the main wing, I'm going to go through again, like I said, with the rasp and the sanding block to get it as smooth and as symmetrical as I can. And uh, then after that, we'll uh, continue on. Alright everyone, here's a view of the plane. I now have most of the edges all beveled and sanded and as symmetrical as I could get them. Um, this definitely is the uh, messiest part of uh, doing the build with EPP foam. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a bunch of EPP dust all over the floor, so I'll have to vacuum that up. Um, but I think it's come along pretty nicely. I think this is where we're going to leave off for the first part of the video today. Um, when we get back into the video on part two, I'm going to be getting into um, putting in the carbon fiber spar on the main wing. And then I'm not sure, I think I might have changed my mind. I might put some of the weave on to stiffen it up, at least on the uh, back edges of the wing where the uh, elevons will attach, because I want this nice and rigid. Um, so it doesn't have a whole lot of flexing and I may put a little bit somewhere along the front edge of the wing but I will still be coating it with ultra coat when it's done uh, but anyway that's where we're going to leave off today guys thanks for joining me and uh, we'll continue on shortly